I honestly think uh, this race might be the most competitive ultra trail race uh, in the U.S. maybe ever. Because no one can just walk away and easily win. You got to really, really work for it. And even then, it comes down to just a couple minutes at the end. The field in this race is uh, like unlike any other ultra in the states. Traditionally, gone out very fast, and uh, I think today it went out pretty fast, but. Uh, not quite as fast as it usually does, um, which was kind of cool to see that everyone as a collective group is, is getting a little bit smarter about that. Yeah, it was just a, a smart racers uh, race from then on out. Sage and, and Dakota battling it out in the middle of the race. Uh, I was at mile 40 and Dakota made a move to, to take the lead and, and kept it for a little bit, but uh, that's, that's about all he had, and, and then uh, Sage ended up taking the win from them. Uh, basically, the last 10 miles, I was averaging about 30 seconds a minute ahead of Dakota, and I, I kept looking over my shoulder in fear, and I was just running scared at that point. Uh, so I really put the pedal down with five miles to go. It hurt a lot, but I was glad I, I did it because I was able to pull away and capture the win. On the women's side, we, uh, we had also a really exciting race, uh, Magdalena leading the race, I think from pretty much the beginning of the race, with Megan Kimmel um, essentially a minute or two minutes behind her the entire day. So the field today was uh, very competitive. Megan, uh, Megan and I actually spent some time racing uh, last year on this course, uh, and I knew that uh, she was coming in to this race very, very well prepared. The gap that I had on Megan, only 20 seconds um, at Stinson Beach, it tells you that you know she was after me the whole time. So the course today was a mixed bag of everything. Um, it was really muddy. Tensions uh, in the middle of the course felt like I was uh, skiing out there on mud areas that used to be flat got uneven and washed out and then uh, just tree branches had fallen down there was running water down the trail at some point so it made uh, traction a little more treacherous and kind of slowed the overall pace down um, but I, you know it's part of trail running you gotta adapt to the, the changes.